Welcome back everyone. So we're getting close to the end of the school year and um, I you know, thought about this and um, we hadn't made any candy dishes. And so today we're gonna to be making a uh, dish called almidabar. It's a Nicaraguan, or I should say Central American, sweet dish. Um, because it's mango season, um, of course it carries mangoes. And um, this thing called, it's in many different countries. It's called a jocote in Central America. It's called a ciruela in Cuba. And in Jamaica, my native land, it's called a plum. And so it comes green and then it turns red or yellowish. As you can tell, there's several different kinds, um, but the green ones are um, on the underripe side, and then these are on the ripe side. So what we're gonna do is, the ingredients that we're gonna be using are the mangoes, um, the jocotes, ciruelas, or plums, brown sugar. Now, I want you guys to know that this I dedicate to Miss Danny because these plums or these ciruelas are from her house, okay? So she made this generous donation because these things cost a lot of money on the street. Usually you can get them in Hialeah. And then the mangoes are from my house. And okay, so they use a brown sugar. Usually it comes in a big block, but I couldn't find it at the grocery store I went to yesterday. So I bought the brown sugar in a bag. Okay, and that's gonna be added to the dish. So the first thing we're gonna do is, oh, and so there's cinnamon sticks that we're gonna put into there, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the mango and we're just gonna, usually they throw the mangoes in whole, but these mangoes are really big. So I'm gonna cut them, like I'm gonna make some slits. I'm not gonna take the skin off, or I'm, I should say the, the meat off. I'm just gonna make some slits so that when it starts to cook, it's just gonna help the mango to come apart. So that's one that's done. We'll take another one. Um, and here we go. We're gonna just make these slits around them because it's what's gonna happen is the longer it cooks, is the more that the skin is gonna, or the flesh is gonna fall apart, okay? And I chose to take five of them. So this is like my first time making this. I just know that in Central America, it was something really delicious um, that people would eat. And it's gonna come out like a sticky, I wanna say like a jamish looking thing, but it's gonna have big sized fruits in it, the mango. Some people use another thing, their little yellow fruits, um, and what was the name of them? Gosh, I cannot remember. Um, this is really bad that I don't remember the name of it. Sometimes they put coconut, pieces of coconut in it. Um, anyway, this little tiny fruit was yellow and I think it started with a C, but why can't I remember the name now? That's terrible. Um, Anyway, this is something that they would eat in at Christmas time. Now, I've put one cup of water into the into the pot. I'm gonna put another additional cup because we don't want our fruits to burn out. So here's our water. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our mangoes in there. I'm coming with the mangoes, which I've already cut up or kind of put slits in them. So here we go, the mangoes are in here. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the uh, plum ciruelas or pocotes. So many different names that they carry. Okay, give me a minute. I'm gonna get some cinnamon sticks. This is another delicious thing. We're gonna put one cinnamon stick in there on that side and one over here. And then we're gonna put our plums, cocotes, or ciruelas. Thank you, Miss Danny. That was such a generous thing of yours. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the sugar. So I think that I'm gonna put three cups of sugar in here right now. Because this is a matter of having to cook at a long heat. So it's not gonna be done right now. It's gonna take quite a while for it to like come down to where it needs to be the consistency of um, oh my gosh, if you guys could smell how delicious this smells, you would want to really want to dig into this already. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cook, but I'm going to turn the heat down because I don't want it to burn. So we're going to put this on like maybe a three on my stove. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put the cover on. You know what, just stay on the safe side. I think I'm going to add one more cup of water. 
so that they don't dry out. And at the, the rate of the heat, I think this is gonna do a great job. Okay, so we're gonna come back maybe in an hour to see how far along this is done. And I will see you guys in a short while. All right, hope you enjoyed this demo. See you soon.